Hi Pisces, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. We're getting right into your reading today. Let's see what comes out for you, Pisces. Ooh, we have an emperor energy. You could be dealing with a divine masculine or just a strong connection here, a strong suitor. Um, it's kind of like they had you for it, right? You know, they could spit a good game, talked about long-term relationships, what they want. You know, you guys been having fun for so long, but it's like they've been doing a few things that caused you to keep your guard up here. And it's been a struggle. Um, we're going to see what is going on. What do you need to focus on for this full moon in Aries? We have expect a powerful change, all right? new moon eclipse is coming in soon we have also nothing will come of the situation and we have confidence is your key to success here pisces so let's see what is going on we have expect a powerful change and nothing will come of the situation so we have the emperor energy here I, I i feel like you're going back and forth on this right like you know this person's potential what they can be or they're already there here but at the same time now that this person on this high level you were kind of have your guard up. well i don't know if, if anything's going to come of the situation because of things that happened in the past they were stuck in a family situation here right we have the six of cups and the ten of cups in reverse with the ten of wands ten ten angel number the frustration that has been building up pisces is slowly um, disintegrating, right? We have the Nine of Cups, the Three of Cups, and the Two of Wands. So this could be a Divine Masculine who we're dealing with the karmic. They got trapped. They got stuck. Their wishes aren't fulfilled in that situation at all. Um, let us see what this Two of Wands in reverse is about. Two of Cups, Page of Cups. Yeah, they want to talk about this. They want, Or at the same time, this isn't a karmic situation here. We have the Nine of Cups and the Three of Cups. Their life, their their emotions are drained. They're, they're feeling empty inside. And they want to reach out and talk to you about this. They don't want to let you go. Or again, the past situation on their end has caused you to put your guard up, right? You're currently dating, seeing this person. They want to talk about the next steps in your relationship. Um, or you want them to open up more emotionally. And they, they have just been closed off, Pisces. You know, you're, you're trying to figure out why here. Clarify the Two of Cups, the Page of Cups, and the Four of Pentacles. We have seduction, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference here. So again, you guys started off fast, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, things like that. Karmic third party interference came in and this person has completely backed away for some of you, right? Guys like the situation. You're done. You know that and if this was a third party situation, nothing is going to come out of it. We have keep a positive mindset, manifest exactly what you want, all right? That's why Spirit is saying expect a powerful change because with the Four of Pentacles, once you kind of um, let this go that confidence is going to build and the answers that you need are going to come in Pisces clarify this four of pentacles the seven of cups someone's thinking about get, or giving you an all love offer but they're trying to figure out which way and I feel like they're kind of dragging their feet on this because you know, there's movement towards you, Six of Swords. There's a, a, a full moon here showing up in the background. But the chariot, this Cancer energy, if you're dealing with one, they're kind of unsure on what to give you. But if you're dealing with the Cancer, I do feel like you're going to hear from them sooner than later. Clarify the Six of Swords in the world. And there's also going to be some lessons that you are going to learn and take with you as you go on through this journey. I feel like you're going to um, not take this person's offer and walk away here. But for those who of you who are in separation and this person is hesitating to come back, what do they want to say to you right now? We have, I can't sleep without you on my mind. I miss you a lot, even if I'm not showing it. And I look at your social media here. So, yeah. They're stuck in their heads for sure. King of Swords energy, Ace of Cups, and the Page of Cups. Ooh. And it's ugh, this this air sign is kicking themselves. Like I was, and I feel like there's some inner child issues that this person that you're currently dealing with, um, you, you know, you're you're not really seeing it because they're so good at hiding it, right? They're so good at not showing their feelings here, but there's some unresolved issues from their childhood that's blocking them out from fully accepting love, Pisces. All right, so you got to be mindful of this. You know, this person just can't give you the effort right now with the Queen of Cups energy, Pisces. You know this intuitively, which is why we have nothing that will come of the situation. All right. Clarify this Queen of Cups energy. Yeah, you have to do what makes you happy. The situation is frustrating. You will back away a little bit. Back away a little bit. It could be for a day, two days, or just, you know, uh, figure out what you want as you back away, too. Because we do have the Nine of Wands and the Six of Swords. You're feeling lost because it's like, I'm so tired of um, 
past cycle is repeating well this full moon in aries is aggressive really headstrong aries is is ruled by mars all right so it's ruled by aggression so um aries energy is very direct they speak their mind with no hesitation pisces i need you to get on that level be clear with yourself on what you want because you're going to keep feeling lost and um getting in these confusing relationships until you clarify what you want pisces okay a lot of confusion on this person's end. Knight of Swords, Knight of Cups in reverse. They're conflicted too, so don't even try to give this person the time of day. Focus on your goals. What do you want? This person's going to need a little bit more time to figure things out. Because what's, like, what's happening is you're going to keep feeling overwhelmed. You know? For those in separation, we have go slow, take time to know each other, and someone feels remorse for the way that they treated you, Pisces. We have abundance. It's coming once you do the work. A lot of you have been. You're kind of just keeping to yourself, Pisces, which is great. We do have the four of cups in reverse. Yeah, it's time to put your guard up and be selfish with it. Not in an asshole way, but really um, take action plans on what you want. Because what's going to happen is movement's going to come in. It's going to come in quickly. Because once you do the inner work, you're going to realize you can manifest exactly what you want, Pisces. The magician's going to come from in reverse to upright. Because you have all the tools you need to get exactly what you want, okay? The hermit and the magician here, I'm going to put that back so it was in reverse. What potentials can you manifest here? Yeah, once you release your ex, the time has come to clear this energy here. We also have give your relationship a chance and free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life here. For a lot of you, you have children, so you can't back away from that. Of course, you're going to give this a chance, co-parent and things like that. But Spirit wants you to release this. We have It's time to free yourself, right? It's time to take back control of your life and get out of this merry-go-round circle that you've been in with this person for so long, Pisces, okay? So I'm going to leave it there, guys, and have a wonderful week.